Hey folks, SSJ Pac-Man here, bringing you another computer hardware review. Uh, today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the ASRock X470 Tai Chi. This isn't the Ultimate Edition, so there are a couple of differences, but they're pretty minor. Um, and uh, definitely for the price difference, it's well worth it. I got this for, I think, $214 American from uh, Superbiz, I believe. Um, so a little bit cheaper than Newegg. Um, and uh, as far as it goes, uh, it's about $70 to $85 cheaper than the Tai Chi Ultimate Edition. Um, I will say, compared to uh, the other ASRock uh, board that I got, the X470 Master uh, SLIAC, this packaging is a hell of a lot different. Um, just uh, real quickly here, where is it? As you can see here, the packaging is quite a bit nicer on the new Tai Chi board here, all glossy and uh, in a separate box uh, or a separate enclosure from the box. It also comes with a handle for some reason, but uh, anyhow, uh, a little bit more information on the back of it than on the SLI Master. So, uh, indicating that it's a more premium product. Let's take a look at what's inside. So as we pull it out here, we have another box. And so this one's more like a motherboard box, a standard motherboard box, but it still has that handle sticking out of it. And it's also glossy. Inside, we got our standard reading material, the installation guide. I would recommend taking a look at that just so you know what places to put the memory uh, as long as you're doing two sticks. If you're doing four sticks, I guess it doesn't matter. But um, there's definitely a lot of information inside of these things. Some of it is um, not super informative and other parts of it are very informative. So take a look at that. Uh, I wish I had for the master. Uh, I did have to make a quick phone call about something. So. Um, you get a high bandwidth SLI bridge. As you can see there. A little Linus effect. Uh, as far as I remember, it's the same as the high bandwidth bridge that came with the SLI Master board. Uh, so I don't think it's any different as far as that goes. The IO shield is uh, pretty similar to the one on the master as well. It's not uh, not as premium as some of the other ones. Uh, some of the guys are integrating it. Uh, like I think Gigabyte integrates their uh, IO shield into their board now. Um, I've had other ones that have like a soft backer. Um, so these are kind of cheap, but uh, you know they're, they're not they're nothing special. So uh, it's not really a big deal. Um, it has a total of six, seven USB ports. Um, it does have the CMOS clear button in the back, uh, so that's very convenient. Gigabit LAN and the AC Wi-Fi PS2 port. Um, your standard headphone jacks and uh, the audio jack, the optical audio jack. Um, get a couple of SATA cables, nothing special on that. They just have the little locking device that I'm not super into. Here's what the antennas look like. And I think that's about it for the stuff nobody cares about. Let's get on to the main course. Handles kind of get that stuck in there. Azrock Tai Chi Standard Edition. It does have the debug light, but it doesn't have the power on and reset buttons there. 
there's actually the spaces for them right there. It does have all of the isolation capacitors for the sound, uh, unlike the um, Azrock Master. Um, one of the things I, I gotta say as far as visually, I don't think it matters at all. I didn't realize this Tai Chi cog is three-dimensional. That's not just painted on there. That's a three-dimensional object. So I had no idea. I thought that uh, I thought this just stuck up over the top of the board. I didn't think that necessarily this was anything special. Just this big one down here, I assumed, was something. So that's cool. I, I a little extra detail there. Nothing particularly crazy. Um, once again, the Azrock boards all seem to come with the single locking side for your RAM. Um, and on the master, it was not the first and third slot from the, pro um, from the processor socket. It's the second and fourth from the processor socket that are the uh, slots you want to put in for high-speed RAM. Um, a multitude of USB connectors all over the place. This one is like some sort of special high-speed USB connector. I'm not super familiar with that, but uh, that's something there. You still get the 8-pin, 4-pin connector. Uh, that seems to be a thing across all ASRock uh, for the 2700 or for the 2000 series AMD uh, processors are all getting a total of 12 connectors uh, for the CPU. So if you have a uh, power supply that supports that, then wonderful. If you don't, um, it's not a big deal. Just do the 8. Um, I'm running 8 on the one that I currently have in. Um, one of the things that I can say is different about this uh, board over the uh, master is all of these chokes are of a higher quality than the ones on the master. And same with all these. This is a 16 phase. Um, but the chokes on the... Uh, master board are just these little square ones. They don't have the little extra thing on them. Uh, I don't know how much difference it makes. I did hear that these are very high quality. So that uh, that's excellent. That's what I want to hear. Um, but they definitely look different. Uh, and all my components are on here straight. Uh, I do see that there is a connector available here for something. Uh, some sort of chip can go there. That's probably on the master that isn't, or on the ultimate that isn't on the regular Tai Chi. Um, and then you guys won't be able to see it, but under here there's like a, I don't know, 150 ball grid array for another chip that could get set on. Um, I'm guessing that's for the 10 gigabit uh, um, Ethernet connector uh, that isn't here uh, that you get on the Ultimate. Um, past that, I don't think there's a whole lot of differences between the Ultimate and this one. Um, I know that over the master, uh, you get the additional RGB zones, so you'll get RGB, 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 and I believe RGB. Um, I'm not so interested in that aspect. I uh, mostly am just interested in the BLCK overclocking that you can do on this board that you can't do on the master. So that, that was one of the most important things to me. Um, I'm trying to hit 4.5 gigahertz on my Ryzen uh, 2700X. I've seen a couple other guys do it with BLCK overclocking, um, and I, I would like to be able to go out there and uh, say that I got a 4.5 gigahertz Ryzen processor. So uh, um, that's my goal. I've been seeing those guys hit Cinnabon's uh, scores of uh, on single core at like 186 to 188, um, which is really good. That's uh, that's about what the 8700K does stock. So uh, it's pretty impressive. Uh, it definitely is, at least what the 7700K did stock. So I'm really excited about that. And that's why I picked up this board. Um, I think the 16 phase delivery is gonna help out a lot. Uh, and I really hope to, that uh, I get more good results out of this. So uh, I'll be doing a couple of videos, doing some comparisons between this and the master that I currently am using. Um, as far as overall looks of the board, they're pretty similar. This one has more gray on it than the master did. Uh, there's actually a little mirrored piece right there. That's interesting. Um, as far as on the back of it, there's not a whole lot going on back here. Uh, I thought I saw something earlier, but uh, no, I guess not. Crazy. Um, you, it is kind of cool. They do show you like all the traces on the board. Um, I don't know how or why they did that or if that's even the case, but you can kind of see the traces all over the board, so that's kind of neat. 
Um, anyhow, if you like the video, like it. Um, subscribe if you want to see more. Uh, yeah, you know, if you want the full details on the board, uh, check out one of the websites for uh, complete specifications. I'm not going to be able to give them all to you exactly. You got the 2M.2 ports, though. I forgot to mention that. And a whole bunch of SATA connectors. Yada, yada, yada. Um, that's not why you're watching this. You're watching this to, to do a comparison. So, anyhow, like and subscribe. See you next time.